what can you do with one? Uh, you can use it, I believe, right now to really uh, to check things. You could uh, like locate lost stock, uh, potentially uh, you know check fences and water. One of the neat things with some of these, with the you know the little more expensive ones, is if you program, you can program it to run a route. So that if you want to run your fences, you do that one time and you save that into the uh, into the drone. And the next time you want to do it, you don't really have to fly it. You just tell it to run that route. Um, you can. I've used it, you know, to to herd sheep, and uh, it's fun. It's the big thing is the obstacles like trees and other things around. They're hard to avoid sometimes, and. Uh, you know, these drones, they do drift a little bit. Not bad. It's fine if you're up high and just, you know, scouting things out. But when you get down low in amongst the trees and brush, and you got to be really careful. Uh, but you can move them really gently. That's the thing that impressed me. I thought, man, you put that drone up there and they're just going to take off running. Uh, but they really don't. And even the first time you do it, they don't. Now, goats will a bit. But sheep will just kind of just walk along pretty slow and pretty easy. Um, I think that uh, as the technology improves, they're going to be able to do a whole lot of other things. The thing I'm looking forward to is there's a type of uh, RFID tag, the radio frequency ID tag. It's called the active RFID. And as opposed to the ones that most people are using now that you have to be about three feet away to use, these can broadcast up to a mile or more. And so if we had a drone with a sensor to go up and pick, find those, communicate with them where they're at, they could go right to where the stock are and start uh, drifting them back to where you want them to be. I can even imagine having a grazing plan built that way where you have, you take your pasture and you mark it into different sections and that drone herds them into that section and uh, the next day he moves them to the next place and so on. So I just think there's a lot of potential. Uh, right now they're still kind of a toy, but it's a fun toy. There's worse ways you could uh, spend your time, that's for sure. Uh, 